Okay, everyone, let's take a look at Xiaomi's Hyper OS in this video. What is the actual user experience like? Can we just flip MIUI 14? The video is based on the last version of Xiaomi 14. The system is not completely self-developed, but is still based on Android 14. We can click on the Android 14 page in the setting and the open the Android develop mode. The modifications to the system from the bottom up has been very significant this time. The icon has also been replaced with a new one, which will look more textured compared to the precious old system. However, it should be noted that in system themes, most of them are still not compatible with HyperOS. After use, there may be blurring, lossing, and other situations, so there may be a lens adaptation process that follows. This system has added a lot of dynamic efforts and real-time blue. We need to open this advanced material in the display to experience the full open effects. So, let's demonstrate this one to everyone. First of all, the control center. Its blur has become even larger, no longer like the small blur on MIUI 14 before, but still the native on the Android. It has a more Apple-like effect, and this time, the control center has also undergone many redesigns, such as animations, and this integrated device center can directly control our smart furniture and some other electrical devices. The layout of the control center is also more like iOS, and pulling down can open more control switches. In addition, there is a particularly great update, which is also the only one among all mobile phones now. It is animation that simultaneously pulls down the control center and time, which looks really good, compared to the previous MIUI 14 animations that were stuck. It is so much better. Moreover, this redesign was also carried out in the horizontal screen state and the layout is indeed much better than MIUI 14. In addition, after opening the advanced materials in the system this time, many new blues have been added, such as the balloon which will be more transparent than before. If we long press the pop-up card on the desktop, it will also have a very beautiful background blurry. Another feature is that correctly, Beside iOS, it should be the second one. After you open the album, its bottom bar will also have a matching blue efforts with the background. However, as a present, this effort is only available in official software, such as photo albums and notes, which have few adaptations, and third-party software should not have any. Then, if we open an image, we can see the upper and lower central bars which have a real-time blurring efforts and will look very good. The folder on the desktop has also been redesigned, and now it comes with a Gaussian blue efference in the background, which is still real-time. The opening animation of the folder has also been modified, making it more beautiful. It is not as silly and quick as MIUI 14, and the effect is very sensitive and unsightly. The interaction animation in the system has made great progress but there may still be some slightly starters. As for the correct vision, I think it seems that the setability are not as good as those of Huawei and Apple. However, it is now in basically usable state, which is a significant improvement compared to the previous MIUI 14. However, I personally think there are two shortcomings. The first is that the background zoom of the wallpaper is relatively small, and the second is that the background blue should be added when opening or closing to full bank benchmark iOS. However, the new system has burns a lot of blue and animation, followed by the phone's heart. I have been using this phone for about 10 minutes now, and then it has become very hot, which feels similar to when playing games. Therefore, I think its bloom and animation effects are performance consumption. In the current version, its widgets do not interpret the animation. Horizontal screen applications such as games can only be interpreted once, but not continuously. Then, let's introduce another aspect of the upgrade that HyperOS perceives with the next eyes which is the lock screen. The lock screen has added many official custom presets, which I personally feel are very beautiful. 
I can also set depth of field, font, and less blurry and color effect inside. The customations, operations, and degree are very high, and there is also continuous display animations between the lock screen and the lock screen. The clock screen camera open animations as smoothly as ever. It can be seen that this HyperOS is aimed at benchmarking Apple's iOS in many aspects. But in my personal opinion, it has actually surpassed Apple in many aspects, such as the position and selection of the front, as well as various types and lock screen continuous switching animations. I think it's better than Apple. This time, there is also a focus notification function. For example, after opening a timer, we can see it running status in real time in the notification center. However, there will be a permanent display on the lock screen. But of course, if we manually turn it off, it will not be available. We need to reset the timer to run it on. However, currently there are not many adaptations for this focus notification. I have already discovered a timer, and of course, there are also many that may not be used in my daily life. We welcome everyone to supplement it. Another significant change this time is a small window, which will make a significant improvement in its animations. At this time, I also hear that I have added a lot of navigation bar email zoom. For example, my coupon is no longer like the previous small white bar below. However, Bilibili is still not suitable. Now, you can also open two small windows at the same time. And you can also click on the three dots above to slip the screen up and down, and then open the small window and close the first screen. To sum up, it's probably moving the set from Apple's iPad OS over. But personally, I think this is quite good. Finally, let's summarize that Xiaomi Hyper OS has indeed added a lot of visible updates, apps, which is rather better than the previous MIUI 14. But with this comes an increase in power consumption, and it limits battery life. Then this time, the system also updated with a brand new lock screen and small windows, which greatly improved the user experience. Adjustments have been made to some settings in the system interface such as the layout and the layout of system applications. Overall, the system gives a more concise and efficient impression. In short, this time is not the Xiaomi system to face squeeze anymore. It's really a very big leap forward. It seems that this low-level reward is not completely useless. I used to choose Xiaomi because I had always liked the function of its system. But its soundness has always been my criticism. After the release of HyperOS, this aspect of soundness has also been supplemented. So I think Xiaomi's system is currently fully available and will no longer be a hindrance to Xiaomi's hardware. If the maximum score is 10, I can give Xiaomi's new system an 8-point rating. So that's the end of this video. Thank you for watching. If it's helpful to you, don't forget to click on a like. So we will see you next time, goodbye.